Hey YouTube, what's going on? Chris here. I want to bring you all an update today of Bitcoin. Right now we're at $8,245. We're up 0.11%. Guys, I got some very critical information, crucial information for you today that I wanted to share with you. What we're going to be doing is looking at Bitcoin on the 15 minute chart. We're going to get out to the one day, but I'm going to make this a quicker video for you. There's some key things that are going on and I wanted to point them out to you. So if you like these videos, you get something out of it, guys, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Right now it is 10 26 a.m. Eastern Time. It's October 21st, 2019. So what we've been looking at, guys, the last video that I did, we were looking in here on the 15-minute chart. And what we were paying attention to was this little false breakout that we had here. And we were paying attention to the back test. So what happened was we ended up back testing it and we had a beautiful move all the way up. So our we broke out, guys, around $7,929. We went as high as $8,305. So now what we're looking to see. If this is going to be a true breakout or if this is going to be some type of 5% failure, that's one thing you always want to look for, guys. Typically, if you have a breakout out of here and it's over 5% and you start having candle closes above that, then it's going to be a true break. And you also want to look for increased volume with that move. If it's less than that 5%, then a lot of times it can be what's called a 5% failure and you can actually start rolling back over again. So what I wanted to do with you all here on the 15-minute chart was take our price range. This was the area we broke out of. And right now, we are basically at that 5% right now. We're at 4.95 all the way to the highs. So what we need to pay attention to is if this is going to be some type of a bull flag to where we push up. Here's our mast, and then we have some type of flag pattern here, or just a consolidation area where we move sideways a little bit, and then we have that next leg up. Or if we're going to start having failure and rejection here and we start falling back down and then we'd start looking at some key areas for support. So what I want to do first, if we are to move to the upside, I want to give you some targets here. So if we're to move to the upside, we're first going to need to get back over top of that 8,308. That's going to be key for us. And what you can kind of see is how we almost had a double top there. See those two spots, guys, where we pushed up twice and we saw rejection the second time? And a lot of times what you want to do is pay attention because then you can start rolling back over a little bit. I'm not saying that's going to happen here because we're exactly on that 5% right now. So basically anything can happen. We just need to be very diligent and pay attention to it. The next area we're going to look at is 8,000. 464 is going to be another area of overhead resistance. And then what I would look at is most likely, guys, for support because I like to take this price action – basically one little area or one channel at a time. So our support, if we do start dropping to the downside, I want to see us find support off that 8,104. And then ultimately, guys, it's going to be down here around that 7,900 is what we were calling our original breakout level. But what we need to do is change that trend, and this is the first step of it. Here we're having lower highs and lower lows. Now what we're trying to do here, we're trying to set that higher high so we broke out right here of what was overhead resistance. And what we'd like to see is for us to back test that, find support off that 104 if we start moving to the downside here and set that higher low and then come back up and make that higher high and see if we can maybe get up to around that $8,464 level. That's what I'm looking at, guys. I specifically just wanted to really look at the price action there. So now what we're going to do, we're going to get these off and we're going to go out to the one day chart. And guys, if you like me zooming in on the 15, this is where I do a lot of my trading. It's like the 15-hour chart and the one-hour chart. That's where I really like to stay. I feel confident in that area. I like to hold trades. Typically, guys, sometimes only for a few hours up to about 10 days is the area that I like to be at. So next one, we're going to go out to the one day, and we'll just take a quick look at the moving averages, see how they're being respected. I'll turn those on for us as well. So guys, remember, our overall trend still is down here. So we're having those lower highs on the one-day chart. We don't want to negate that. Okay, so what we're looking at now in orange is our 9 EMA. And in purple here, that's going to be our 20 EMA. So what's nice is we closed up above. We had a nice candle close yesterday up above that 9 EMA. So that's a good thing. On the short term, we closed up above it. The direction's up. So now what we need to do is close another candle today up above that 20. You can see we're having a lot of indecision here, a lot of fight back and forth. Very small doji candle. So there is that indecision. We're getting squeezed between the two moving averages. So we're going to have to wait to see if we do break up. If we break up, guys, then I would target that 8,590 here on the one day, so this area. And then what we would look at is to see if we can get over top of this downtrend line that we've been under since. Guys, our downtrend started 
would be June 27th, 2019 is when that started. And then our support, we'd be looking at around $7,810. And remember guys, our 50 day moving average is still acting as overhead resistance and our 200 day moving average is still acting as overhead resistance. But that's what we need to do. We need to change the trend first from the nine, then the 20, then the 50, then the 200. And that's just how it works, guys. We need to get up over top of these moving averages so that we can get back up in an uptrend because right now the trend still is down. So I want you to be cautious of that. We had a little move come in, still wasn't on the most volume, would have liked to see more volume, but we're going to have to wait to see what type of follow through we get. So guys, I wanted to make this a quick one here. I got to run to my client's house. I plan on trying to get out like a Litecoin XRP video, maybe a little EOS Ethereum later today. So look out for that if I'm able to get to it. But I wanted to put this on your radar for Bitcoin since we went over it the other day on that 15 minute chart. So just stay cautious. We had a beautiful trend line break. That's a good thing. We're sitting at that 5% now. Let's see if we can start having some candle closes up above these moving averages and get moving guys. Let me know what you think. Leave it down low. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Appreciate you all being here with me today. God bless each and every one of you.